Developments this afternoon out of Baltimore. At this hour, officials are working on a temporary channel to allow shipping vessels to once again start flowing into a critical port as the massive salvage operation gets underway. That's right. NBC's Aaron Gil Gilcrest is in Baltimore with what we know. A new phase in the round the clock effort at the Key Bridge in Baltimore. New lighted navigation aids now on the Patapsco River, creating a sort of runway on the water for a temporary channel for essential ships only. Officials calling it an important first step in reopening the Port of Baltimore. Many of Baltimore's 8,000 dock workers are waiting for that temporary shipping channel to open, which officials say could allow some commercial activity to resume. The Coast Guard sharing video of crews using cutting torches to burn through steel all weekend while heavy lift cranes moved the pieces to waiting barges. It's an all-out effort to reopen this vital waterway. We've been able to cut up some of the pieces, and the removal process uh, is now, is now going to be an ongoing process. And more reinforcements are on the way. A fourth crane expected to arrive today, along with support tugs and barges throughout the week. All told, an armada of nearly 40 vessels and almost 400 people will work to clear the bridge, the cargo ship, and the debris on the riverbed. The goal, to clear the way for commerce to start flowing again through the Port of Baltimore. Baltimore is uh, specialized, it's large, it's an important part of the system. With the port gates closed, very little is moving at marine terminals. Carnival cruise ship passengers sailing out of Baltimore bust back on Sunday from a port in Norfolk, Virginia. Holy hell! And in Oklahoma this weekend, another scare on the water when a barge hit a bridge pillar on the Arkansas River, temporarily shutting it down. Back in Baltimore, progress on the river's surface clouded by dangerous conditions below, preventing divers from searching for four still missing workers killed in Tuesday's collapse. We owe it to these families to bring a sense of closure. And so as soon as it is safe for our divers to get back into the water, those divers are going back in the water.